So come into a seated position on your mat with the sitting bones behind you. And then because we're creatures of habit, go ahead and switch your legs. So the other one is on the outside. And readjust if you need to. Activate your core to support your spine. Make sure your shoulders are right over your hips. And reach your head toward the ceiling. Take a moment there, just feeling your body, lengthening through your spine, breathing. And then exhale, bend slightly forward, tuck your chin, and just drop down, bowing toward the mat, or head down toward the floor. And then rotate your face forward, lift your heart, and come back up. And just feel the spine, each bone going, Bending forward, tucking the chin, just bowing down, grounding, and then inhaling on your way up, lifting the heart, feeling it expand. And just do that a few times to limber up the spine a little bit. Breathing with it, lengthening through the whole spine. And then the next time you come up, just stop at the top and feel your body. And of course, we'll do our side stretches next. One hand down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, above your shoulder. Slide over to the side, no twisting on this one, just face the front. Make sure both sitting bones stay down so you're anchored for that side to open a little more through the you can bend your elbow down and give a little extra stretch, or you can just keep sliding out if you like that. And then inhale back up and release and switch your legs so the other one is in front or on top. Again, sitting bones behind you, everything's straight. And bring the hand to the floor, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling and above your shoulder. Slide over. And again, just deeply as much as you'd like, feeling those ribs stretching, sideways motion to your spine, just looking to the front. And again, you can bend your elbow for that little extra oomph, but keep the sitting bone down that you're leaning away from. And stretch. And then it's inhale upright and release. Feel the sides and take a moment to really. And we'll do our twist next. So take a moment to look at your legs and see which one is in front or on top. Doesn't really matter. And bring the other arm, that hand, opposite hand to that knee, and the other hand to the front. Stretch up, lengthening your spine for our twist, and exhale, turn into that direction. Bring the hand behind you close to the floor, close to your body, and stretch up. Lift that hip you're moving away from slightly as you exhale and turn further. Hips, ribs, and shoulder, everything, including your head, turning. Looking toward the side or slightly behind you. Feel the twist, just relax into it. And then bring your head up, follow it back around, and release. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side, but first we need to move that other leg to the front. Move your hand to the knee and the other hand straight out. Keep the shoulders down, but the spine lengthening. Exhale and turn to your chest. Bring the hand close to your core and stretch up. Exhale and deepen your chest. So remember, don't keep both bones, sitting bones planted on the twists. You want to be able to move your hips as well as your ribs and your shoulders and your whole spine tree. Take a breath and just deepen as much as you want. And then bring your hand back up and follow it back to the center. Release your hands. Feel that twist energy moving through. And then you can either stay with the, the legs crossed or you can bring them out in front into staff position. Going to do a little breathing today. So bring your hand up in front of your face and then just keep the palm open and then put your thumb on one nostril 
Breathe out through the opposite nostril and then breathe in. Now, after you breathe in, put your little finger or your ring finger or little finger on the opposite nostril as you release the thumb. And then exhale and inhale. And then place the thumb again on the opposite nostril. Exhale and inhale. And keep doing that at your own pace, alternating which one you're pressing as you breathe. Exhaling and inhaling just as deeply as you breath. Going back and forth with the thumbs, breathing on the other side, and then with the little finger or ring finger and little finger, breathing on that opposite nostril. And just a few more times, focusing inward, noticing the calm. Check your spine, make sure it's still stacked and supporting you or activated, keeping those spines nice and straight. And then the next time your thumb is on the nostril, just exhale and release your hands to your lap. And just continue that lengthening breathing. Just letting it be long and slow, noticing how it focuses you inward and calms and relaxes you. And then you can release that and open your eyes and bring your hands to your side. Inhale, stretch your arms over your shoulders, but keep your shoulders, shoulder blades down. Lengthen up through your spine, and as you exhale, turn to the side. Bring one hand to the outside of your knee, and the other one right behind you. Then that twist, stretch up, exhale, deepen a little bit further. So remember, let the hip you're moving away from move up a little bit so you can turn your whole body into the twist. Take a breath, stretch it out, exhale, and deepen. And then on the inhalation, release your arms and lifting them over your shoulders and release to your sides. And again, switch your legs around so we can go twisting the other way. Again, sitting bones behind you, core active and spine stretching open, lengthen through the neck, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Keep the shoulder blades down. Keep the shoulders away from your ears. Stretch the fingertips up. Exhale, turn into your twist. So your whole body turns. Remember, hips, ribs, and shoulder. Hand to your knee, the other one behind you. And again, just lengthen through your spine. Exhale, and deepen your twist. Take a breath there. Just relax and into it. And again, on the inhalation, bring your arms back up as you turn to the center, arms out and down. Feel your spine a little bit more activated. And we're going to do a little bit of activity on our mat. So come into your child pose position. Take a moment there, just breathe and relax. And then bring your arms out in front of you. Pivot it up slightly and tuck your toes toward the floor. So you're coming out to the base of your toes. We're gonna go up into down dog. And as we do this, if you want a little easier time on your wrists, fold your mat and let the heel of your palm be a little bit higher. <clears throat> Brace on the mat. Hands are out in front of you, slightly ahead. So really spread your fingers out. Get the whole palm connected across the base of the fingers and the heel of the palm. Keep your elbows straight. And then lift up onto the base of your toes, lifting your knees just off the heel. And then bring your hips all the way up toward the ceiling. If your feet aren't hip width apart, move them apart. Make sure your arms are next to your ears. Your ears are next to your arms. And then sink your heels toward the floor. 
So you want to be in as much of a V shape as you can. Lift the sitting bones and press them back. So you're kind of moving your sitting bones toward the wall behind you, up toward the ceiling. <clears throat> Make sure your knees are straightening as much as feels right for you. And your elbows are straight. Your spine is stretching apart from the sitting bones up through the crown. But your shoulder blades, of course, are going back toward your hips. So take a moment and breathe. Let those heels sink toward the floor as much as they want. They probably won't make it. That's okay. Your hands are a little bit in front of your head. And your full body is as straight as you can make it. Stretch back through those sitting bones a little bit more. Take a moment and breathe. And then lift your heels, bend your knees, slowly bring your knees down toward the floor. Sink your feet to the floor, hips back towards your heels, and bring your hands back into child's pose. Take a moment there, just relax. Release those wrists, kind of circle them, and exhale. And then sit up on your heels, and we're going to do another breathing exercise. So I'm just going to turn toward the camera, but y'all don't have to turn if you don't want to. So this one's called Ujjayi breathing, and it's also called ocean breath. If you've seen the Star Wars movies, you know the way that Darth Vader sounds when he breathes, kind of hollow. That's what we're going to make our attempt for. So as you breathe, kind of close off the back of your throat, bring your tongue down and back. And then breathe through your nose, making a noise. And you can breathe out that way and in that way if that works for you, or just one way if that's easier for you. Make it as loud as it seems okay for you to do. And as you're doing that noise of the ocean waves kind of moving or Darth Vader or breathing, just think about focusing your awareness inward as that breath moves. Feeling it hollowing out through your throat. Relax your shoulders, stretch your spine. And then you can go back to normal breathing if you prefer. We're going to use that breath when we get up into down dog again, because what the breath does is helps you focus on the breathing and kind of release any awareness of your body being a little bit more stressed and strained. So take a moment just to get that breath in your focus as we go into our down dog practice. So again, coming into child's pose, just relax your shoulders, hands, palms up. And then bringing your arms way up in front, shoulder width apart, plant your palms. Pivot up onto your hands and knees, spreading those fingers, getting the whole palms connected. Knees and feet hip with the part as you tuck your toes and come on to the base of your toes, lifting those knees just slightly. Pull your chest all the way back toward your thighs and your ears next to your arms. Hips go up, heels go down, and you should be in a nice V-shape down dog position. Take a moment there, spread your fingers, push into the palms a little bit more, breathe your ujjayi, Ocean there. Keep pulling your shoulder blades up toward your hips. Shoulders away from your ears. Just breathing. In many yoga classes, they use this as a relaxation posture. So just take a moment and breathe. If you're feeling like your wrists are getting overworked, you can put your weight into one hand, lift the other one, and circle the wrist, and then put it back down. 
and do the opposite with the other hand. Just keep alternating if that works for you, if your wrists bother you. Or you can also slide further forward, bringing your elbows down and still lifting up through the hips. So remember, this one's called Dalton sometimes. So take a moment there, pushing the hips up and back. Hold palms on the floor, forearms supported, elbows as well. And then coming back up onto your hands, move them slightly back, coming into your down dog. And again, lifting your heels, bring your knees to the floor, slide your feet back, and your hips onto your heels. And again, coming into child's pose, relaxing, circling those wrists again, if that works for you. And then again, sit up and come into a seated position. We're going to do one more breathing exercise. This one's called breath of fire. This builds heat in the abdominal area, which is the energy center for activating and energizing in the yoga system. And if you're feeling like you need a little bit more energy while you're in your down dog, you can always do this fire breath. So it's an exhalation and it automatically inhales. You don't have to do the inhalation. So it just sounds like you're exhaling. So go ahead, breathe out like you're blowing out a candle forcefully. And just do that again. Stretch your spine, relax your shoulders, breathe out. And again, make noise as you're doing it. It keeps you focused and aware of what you're doing. And we're going to do that a few times right in a row. So it kind of sounds funny sometimes. Don't worry about that. And you feel your midsection contracting. That inhalation happens automatically. Feels like you're just exhaling, but don't worry, the breath is coming in. And we're going to use that with our down dog once again. So your choice, you can just breathe regularly. You can do that ocean breath, Ujjayi breathing, or you can do a breath of fire. It won't work out. So come on again into your child pose. Relax your shoulders and bring your arms out and feet. Hands Shoulder width apart, planted, lifting up onto your knees, feet and knees hip width apart, tucking your toes, lift the knees, pull the ribs back toward your thighs, arms by ears by your arms, and then heels up toward the ceiling. Sink the heels, straightening the knees, straightening the arms, pulling the shoulders back toward your sitting bones, and reaching your head toward your hands. V shaped position for you. Again, doing your breath. You can do your wrist circles if you need to, or not. always your choice. And again, you know, lift the heels and bring the knees to the mat. Release the toes and go into child's pose. Or head down toward the floor, heels releasing the shoulders, letting them relax, circling your wrists once more. And then once again, sitting up on your heels, bring your arms out to the front, point the palms, bring your feet and knees hip width apart, tuck your toes. And we'll come once more up into our down dog. Take a moment there, <clears throat> adjusting into your down dog breathing. Arms next to your ears, ears next to your arms, heels going toward the floor, sitting bones reaching up and back. And again, you can stay in one of the previous versions of down dog or just this standard version. Or if you're feeling adventurous, 
And you want a little something more to go with your breathing or without your breathing. We'll flip the dog. So go ahead and bring your right foot up toward the ceiling. Bend the knee, bring it slightly behind you. You can stay there or you can go even further and bring your foot to the floor, bringing your arm over and to the floor, coming into a little back position. Take a moment there, feel it, breathe into it, maybe lift your hips a little bit. Keep lifting your sitting bones if you're still in them. And then bring the arm back up and over, plant it. Bring your foot back up to the ceiling and back down next to the upper. Take a moment there, breathe, relaxing. And again, we'll do the opposite side. So once more, you can come down on your forearms and continue in your down dog, or just stay in your regular down dog, or bring that opposite foot up. Again, bending the knee, bringing it over, bringing it to the floor, hand up and over, and into table position, reverse table position. Hips up and breathe. And we'll go back into our starting position, hand to the floor, bringing your foot back up, strengthen the leg, bring the foot down into our damn dog. <clears throat> Just breathe and relax, lifting your sitting bones. And once again, check your position, ears next to your arms, sitting bones lifting up and back, heels dropping, everything straight. Breathe in your damn dog. Circle your wrists if you need to. And then lift your heels, <clears throat> drop your knees, and again, flattening your feet, coming once more into channel pose. And just relax. Soften your shoulders. Circle those wrists once more. Exhaling, just relaxing and releasing any tension. And then as you sit up on your heels, straighten your spine, stretch it open, and bring your arms out and over your shoulders. Stretch up through the fingertips, but down with your shoulders, stretch the spine open, and we'll come into a twist. Turning to the side, hand to the outside of the knee and the other one right behind you. Stretch up, exhale, hips, ribs, and shoulder again, turning into your twist. Just releasing any tension in those shoulders. Take a breath, stretch the spine up, exhale and relax. Inhale and stretch up, exhale, and bring your arms up, back to the center, out and down. And we'll twist once more, of course, to the other side and balance them. Shoulders down, arms out, arms to the ceiling and over your shoulders. Stretch up. Lengthen your spine, shoulders down. Exhale, turning to the opposite side. Hand to the knee and the other one behind you by your feet. Stretch up, exhale, deepen your twist. As always, just relax into your twist as deeply as you go. Stretching and breathing and turning. Of course, you can do this longer on your own, but for now, release, coming back to the center, and into a kneeling position. And then slide off your feet, bringing your feet to the end of the mat, into corpse position, or into staff position. Getting ready to go into corpse position. Activate your core, stretch up through your spine, and release all the way down to the floor. Relax, arms up near your sides, release those shoulders down, Circle the wrists once more and relax your arms. Take a breath or two, just relaxing, allowing your whole body to release and soothe into that surface beneath you. 
Breathing deep. Exhale and teach you. Letting your whole body soften and sink. Let your body go deeper and into that earth support. And bring your toes together, letting the lower body go and more release as you lift them right up, support slightly. Deeper those shoulders down. Feel your heart expand. Soften your shoulders, just let them sink. Releasing any tightness left anywhere in your body from those fairy dogs. Take a few breaths. Let your body sink deeper into that little support, letting it go. And as you release your body, release thoughts of your body from your awareness. And as other thoughts come to you as they will, let them go. Remember, it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, there's no need to remember the past or anticipate the future. No need to think about your body or any other contents from your mind. Just let the thoughts flow away as easily as you can. Deepening, releasing, relaxing completely. Allow your awareness to turn inward to that peace deep within. Fill your awareness with peace. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. Just taking a few moments being with peace. And if you have time to keep relaxing today, just keep on as long as you have opportunity. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin enjoying energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Begin stretching gently through your wrists and ankles, through your shoulders, stretching a little more fully. And when you're ready for your yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, draw your heels toward your hips, send your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, rolling to the side, sitting back up, Getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. And if you need a little more calming, bring your hand in front of your face, do a little bit more alternate nostril breathing. Breathing out and breathing. Breathing out and breathing. Alternating again. Just relaxing as long as you are. Thanks for joining me.